I've been a commentator for 39 years. And in those 39 years, I've seen it all. And I smiled when they first beamed with national pride. I was there when 10 turned to 12. Anthony Hugh Bladen, better known as Blades, was born in Johannesburg in 1940-something. I don't think he really wants anybody to know his real age. He is a rugby man through and through. A product of King Edward School, he captained the first rugby team and likewise the Transvaal under 20 team before going on to play fly half for Wanderers and the senior Transvaal provincial side. In 1965 he was chosen to represent the junior Springboks against Argentina and regards the 11-6 loss to the Jaguars at Ellis Park as his worst sporting memory. After his playing days, he fulfilled a number of administrative roles, including convener of the Transvaal Selectors and vice president of the Transvaal Rugby Union. But it is as a rugby commentator for over 40 years that Blades will be remembered best. There's space on the outside. If they decide to run it wide, Brayton Pulsa, the little chip, this is where he can actually be very useful. Pulsa has opened things up. The bounce is vital. Can he get back? Cullen does this so often. Pulsa has got the try. That is magic. Tiny ball, the double around. This is Peter Risso. Can he get try number four? It would be absolutely un unbelievable. Unbelievable. There's the Irish backs. Look at Skinstead. He's away, Bobby. My, one of my mentors in the early days was, was Chick Henderson, who was a commentator. I mean, he was a businessman, but uh, did commentary part-time, and he was great mates with Kim Shippey, who was appointed when television started in 1976. He became manager of, of English-speaking television sport. He asked Chick Henderson who he should approach to, to commentate. So he phoned me up and said, have you ever thought about commentating? And I said, uh, no. <laughs> and he said, well, would you like to try? And I said, uh, yes. <laughs> and he said, OK, on Saturday, Transvaal are playing the All Blacks. You're in. <laughs> and uh, so I arrived at Ellis Park in the commentary box, and, and Kim Shippey was there. There was a set of earphones and a microphone and he said put the earphones on and lift that microphone to your lip and talk when I don't. I had the privilege of working with Chick and Hugh and remember them attending my commentators workshop when I succeeded Kim Shippey as head of television sport in 1981. Might he have joined me as a cricket commentator having played cricket for King Edwards? Glorious afternoon. Glorious Impersonation, they say, is the greatest form of flattery. Good afternoon, Hugh. Yes, well, good afternoon, Trevor. Wonderful to be branching out and trying my hand commentating the game of cricket. Clearly the Sharks played an unbelievable match, beating the Crusaders in Christchurch. At the base of the scrum, it's Faf Duplessis. He puts up a towering, towering Gary Owen and up and under. It's fielded by Cheslin Colby. Cheslin! Cheslin Colby gives it to Valley LaRue. Valley catches it. Valley! Valley for the line! Valley LaRue's over. Go, South Africa! Go, you good things! Oh, it's going to be an unbelievable <laughs> tournament. <laughs> but my heart says Booker, my head says Booker, and hell with that! My mouth says I'd have another belt and soda. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Hugh Bladen. This is Offsides and next to me is Nas Puerta. Please welcome to Off the Bench none other than former Springbok and Stormer fullback Conrad Janji. Unbelievable. Who's that?
No, that's Hugh Bladen. Is that Hugh Bladen? <laughs> Come on, you know that's Hugh Bladen. <laughs> that's not Blades. That's not a bad... <laughs> no, what do you think? Blades, that's an embarrassment. <laughs> well, good afternoon for myself, Hugh Bladen, coming to you live from a very steamy and sticky 1987 Volvo station wagon. It's come to my attention that there's a video during the rounds of some guy impersonating me who impersonates Hugh Bladen. The real Hugh Bladen was a real professional. So we've made our way up to the Jock Layden Media Centre here at Kings Park. This is where everything happens. This is where the press are. And we are in cubicles just along the passage. So follow me. As you can see, we have a wonderful view of the field and also the, s the television screen here is what the viewer at home is seeing. So we're we getting exactly that picture. We also have a fruit machine that gives us all the stats on the game. And then the sound box, which is over here, where we're in contact with our OB van, which is the director, the production secretary, and very uh, occasionally the slow motion guys. So that's how it all happens. I then take my seat here. Next to us are the uh, Afrikaans commentators. I then, Bob Skinstadt, will sit next to me here. And then I have done my preparation. And so there you have it are the teams on either side with the number of games they've played and the tries they've scored and, and that type of thing. So we don't come in here unprepared and sometimes people say how do you remember the names or well, we remember and recognize a lot of the players but preparation is necessary blades traveled the rugby world as a commentator and lists the 1995 springbok world cup triumph and the victory in paris in 2007 as career highlights in the competition brilliant brilliant stuff by Brian Abanard. Here goes Farida Pierre. This is dangerous for England. Farida Pierre goes. Peterson is there. This should be on. JP Peterson will score. He will score. Another moment that will go down in the annals of South Africa's sporting history forever. Blades' career almost ended with a fall from the fourth floor of a Durban hotel but he bravely recovered and although his golf handicap went west he continued behind the microphone as a celebrity broadcaster appearing on many television and radio shows Huey, did you ever... The Gary Owen. Do you know where Gary Owen comes from? No. <laughs> it's Bill McLaren. No, man, it's not Bill McLaren. The there person, was a yeah. club in Ireland <laughs> called Gary Owen. And, and the, the Gary Owen club was the first club in the history of rugby to kick up and unders. Blades has also written his memoirs. He was and still is an accomplished guest speaker and master of ceremonies. And was called on to pay tribute to one of his favorite rugby players, Joris van der Vestes. Straski so nearly got his hands on it, but still it's Van der Vesthuizen. Van der Vesthuizen, yes! He died, he's done it! One has to look at statistics and say 89 test matches, and for some years was a South African record holder of, of try scored as a scrum half. Now, that uh, speaks, you know, enormous words of, of praise for the man. I think he, he had enormous courage and uh, he's shown that courage throughout his life and uh, just a really good guy and, uh, and a great competitor. Van der Vesthuizen trying to get it back, he works well and he gets through, yes Van der Vesthuizen, I don't believe it, he's done it again, he's done it again! In recognition of his long and distinguished career, Blades has received many awards, including being inducted into the South African Sports Hall of Fame in 2016. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, you know. I, in a way, I sort of have mixed emotions. Obviously, I'm very proud and, 
and uh, I'm very humble about it and I'm a little bit embarrassed and <laughs> it's um, you know just uh, absolutely fabulous you know to receive the recognition for me uh, is very special. To my wife of 48 and a half years, Bronwyn, thank you for the sacrifices you made. Unfortunately, my son and eldest daughter can't be here, but uh, two of my daughters have come up from Cape Town. I have seen it all, and I can't wait to see it all again. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Oh.